Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's mainly for those noobish players, uh, the new players in the game uh, that just want some advice. So this video is basically a video of do's and don't do's. So hopefully it will just let you know uh, let you help you on the on the way of becoming a, a decent or so players and to help you just in Stop making those just those little mistakes that you do in battle that could cost uh, the game And I also have to give a shout out to my patrons. We are in a train, training room uh, I decided to get all the footage from the training room because it was just much easier. So The first up we, we're gonna go with the do's go with your team go with your team don't go the other other side of the map if your team is going right go with them i mean don't go left on your own even if you think you should go left don't go left just go with your team and uh the next up talk to your team i mean sometimes they do believe it or not sometimes they do listen uh if you think say this map i said to the team go right I mean, you can start going right because that can be influential, uh, but sometimes they don't listen. So if they don't listen, don't just go there on your own. Just turn back around and go with your team. Uh, you will win more battles. And I see it so many times where people say go right, the rest go left, but that one person goes right and he gets absolutely, <laughs> absolutely obliterated. Um, so next up on the do's list is use your tank how it's supposed to be used. Now, we're gonna show you all, all the tanks. I mean, use a light tank. A light tank and medium tanks are fast tanks and they're used for spotting tanks. Uh, so do that. Use your tank how it's supposed to be used. So we're gonna get into a spotting position. We're gonna spot all the reds uh, and then we're gonna back up. And at least then the team, the heavies and the TDs know what to do. And you can then decide, do you wanna stay there or do you want to go from a different direction, flank around, etc.? Uh, so that's the, the light and medium tanks. Uh, heavy tanks, again, use your heavy tank how the heavy tanks are supposed to be used. IS-4 is a classic example. It's a fair, very well-armored tank. It's supposed to be front line, so use it front line. Don't sit at the back in a TD spot uh, as we see a hell of a lot. I mean, this map in particular, there's a TD spot right behind. The amount of times I've seen a medium or a heavy tank in those positions, instead of being front line, it, it just it's, happens too often. It happens too often. And if it, that's one of you that is watching this video, just please use the tank how it's supposed to be used. Same as TDs. TDs are often used as a support tank. You're supposed to be supporting your heavies uh, and even your medium tanks, so support them. Don't rush forward and be frontline, especially if you're in a tank like a grill that has no armor because everyone's gonna focus you uh, because of your big alpha gun. So use it as a support tank. Sit at the back, and I'm not saying camp at the back all game. I'm saying sit where you can get shots off. And this map in particular, you sit here and you can get shots off and you're supporting your team. You really are supporting your team and that is how really TDs are supposed to be used. There's a couple of TDs that you can get away with using as heavies, uh, E3 for, for example, um, and a couple of TDs that you can get away with using mediums. Uh, next up, this is a really big thing. And so also, it's a really big thing in tournament play as well. Focus fire. Go for the same tank your team are going for. If there's three tanks on the enemy team, it all in a line and there's three of your tank don't shoot all different tanks shoot the same tank you will win more battles trust me you will win more battles if you focus fired more because you've got three guns on one gun and if you've got three guns on one gun the enemy team are less likely to have three guns on one gun unless they are really really good um so next up use the tanks uh, strengths use the tank strengths and I mean use that by if the tanks got good gun depression use that gun depression It's got good gun depression for a reason use it if it's got a strong turret use it and 
this is a classic example of the T34. It's got great gun depression and it's got great um, a great turret. So there's no point going on flat land. It's if if you can use that gun depression to make that turret very strong and only expose your turret, do it. Absolutely do it. That is why it has got good gun depression and that's why it has got a good turret. Uh, and the same goes for side scraping. Use the tank how it's supposed to be used. Use the tank strengths and there's many tanks that are just mostly Russian tanks that are very, very good at side scraping. IS-4s, IS-2SH, IS-5s. A lot of Russian tanks are very good at side scraping. So use that. Use, if it's good at side scraping, absolutely do it. Um, if you get penned, then readjust your tank into a sort of different angle because obviously you're getting penned, you're doing it wrong. So just adjust your tank and use it again in, in these kind of town positions uh, you can really do that and it really does pay off um, next up on the do's list is take out the lower hit point tanks and again there's just so many people and i've actually got this on the don't do list but the other way around take out the lower hit point tanks if there's five tanks all around you don't just go for damage take them out there is you're more likely to win if you take out the tanks, believe it or not, if you take out the tanks, you're more likely to win. I just see it so many times where people just want to farm damage. So that tank there on the Type 62, 190 hit points, they just like, I don't want to do that. My tank does 400 alpha. I want to go for the higher hit point tanks. Don't. Just take out the tank. Um, next up, know where your TDs are. And this, if you're in a heavy or medium or a light tank, know where your TDs are and look around the map. Look at the mini map. The minimap is your best friend in this game. It really is. Your two mates not your best friend. Your team's not your best friend. Your minimap is your best friend. You can see everything from your minimap. You can see the tanks that are spotted. You can see where your tanks are. If there's only two tanks spotted and there's seven players, there's five tanks somewhere. So don't go up hills where you are spotted because you might just get wrecked if you are spotted. So know where your TDs are. And again, it's not about damage. It's not always about damage. If I'm sitting here in a light tank, there's no point in me going over this hill to expose myself when there could be unspotted tanks when my TDs are just absolutely wrecking them. We don't need to. Obviously, if you can, yes, go for damage. If you are, if you think you're going to be safe, do go for the damage. But always know where your TDs are because they got big alpha guns and they can help you win um, dramatically. So next up, use your camera. Use your camera as bait. And I mean, not as bait, but to look around buildings. A, a lot, just like this. Don't come out sideways because, again, that is something you see so often in this game where I've reloaded and I've just started to come out sideways to, to get a shot. And you can get a shot in return. So just look around the building with your camera. With your camera, You don't need to move your tank. And as soon as the tank is occupied by someone else, if he shoots, then you can move out sideways if you need to, to take that shot. And also bait shots. I mean, if, if you're in a position like this, show your track wheel on the outer side, not the inner side, on your outer side, and just showing the strongest part of your uh, armor. And then if you can get the bait shot, great. You can then poke out to get that shot. Baiting shots is just fun to do. It, it's not fun when it doesn't pay off, and it's not always going to pay off. Sometimes they will penetrate you. But if you're just rocking backwards and sideways, um, you have a good chance of bouncing, or they got a, you've got a good chance of them missing. Also, don't be afraid to use HE. Use HE to decap. If there's a, just like this map here, there was an E5 in cap that has a very, very strong turret, and I know that I'm not going to be able to penetrate it. Just use HE to decap the base. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it is going to do some damage and you will decap the base. And the same goes to tanks that are side scraping. As we see earlier, if there's a tank side scraping and you're not able to pen it, just if you've got a big caliber gun, and I'm not saying do this on a medium because you're going to do absolutely no damage, but if you've got a big TD or an E100 or something like that, shoot them, gradually shoot them with HE. Uh, their hit points will start to go down. Next up on the don't do's is don't all sit in the same place. And again, this is something you see very, very often. A lot of your teammates all come into one area. And fair enough, they might all be heavies. And <laughs> sorry, this might be the best, best position for them. But 
if you see a heavy in this position, maybe go at a different direction. I mean, come at a different angle, or even if, if you do go at the same direction, just leave a little bit of space, and this is where you can share hit points. If there's only a couple of tanks, maybe one can poke out to get the shot, and if he gets shot, someone else can poke out. And again, you, you, you're using those, you're sharing those hit points. So, and just never do this. Never, if there's one tank there or two tanks, just don't all go to the same position because you're all going to start hitting each other uh, and you're all going to start missing shots. You're going you're to start blocking. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next up is don't go on your own. And again, this is a bit... You can go on your own, but it all depends on the enemy, um, enemy tank types. If you're a medium tank and you're the only medium tank on your team and the enemy only has one, then of course you can flank around. But you have to remember that you don't know where the enemy are going to go. Just because they've, they're they full of heavies and you think that they should go town, it doesn't mean that they're going to go town. So you have, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it don't. But that is just, if it doesn't pay off, that is just something that, that happens and you just got to get over it. But if you're a heavy, for instance, and you have no support whatsoever, just don't go on your own. Go where your team is, because at the moment, it, I'm in this kind of position where I have absolutely no support. My team are all in the town, and I just can't get any help. And that's not the team's fault. I shouldn't have gone on my own. And another thing why we're on this, which is a classic example, just don't rage. Don't rage. Useless team, which obviously I'm just saying to my, my, my patrons, it gets you absolutely nowhere. And a lot of the time, people rage that are absolutely, they've done nothing. I mean, a 40% or a 30% player gets absolutely wrecked because he goes on his own and then starts blaming the team. Just don't rage. Even if you've had a good battle and your team have done absolutely shit, just don't rage. It's only going to get you banned. It's not going to go nowhere. I've said it before, if you're angry, exit the battle, start another battle, and you will forget about the battle you've just had. Next up. Don't YOLO. And I mean, I know we all like to YOLO every now and again. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes we do it in streams for challenges. But don't YOLO. And what I mean by this, in a Dracula, this, just because I didn't spot no tanks when I come to that corner, um, I decided to go forward. And by the time you go forward, you then spot all the tanks and it is too late for you to turn around uh, and run away. So you have to then commit. And we all do it. Again, we all do it. But just don't YOLO, don't YOLO. Um, again, don't block, don't block your teammates. Um, we, I've had don't sit all together, but don't block your teammates. If a tank is in your position, just come from a different position. And just like I'm doing here, just because you want the shot and you think that you should be there, the Type 62 is also probably thinking that he should be there. Like, why can't he be there? And people get so annoyed because they are near you or they are getting the damage and they do start blocking you and you will also get pushed out because you want the damage and he's just doing damage that you could be getting. And again, we see that so often. I mean, just like this, where the T62, and then you start pushing him out because he was in your... And, and you start saying, you deserve that little, little bitch. So don't block, don't block. Be a team player and don't block. Next up, this is a, a common one. And a lot of people do this and they don't know they're doing it is don't no scope yes it does look really good when you pen like that it does look really really good but you're gonna miss more shots than you're gonna hit um even if you've got auto aim i tried it on this game and i actually i penned a lot of my shots i do miss a couple but even if you miss two shots that's still two shots i missed two shots on that fosh and that fosh is is a two shot so i, I could have actually taken that fosh out so don't no scope, just because it looks good. Next up, we have don't waste your consumables. And we all do this. I do it. Bushka says he does it. Where you shoot your gun and you automatically press the adrenaline. Just It's, it's a habit. It is a habit. We all do it. But wait for the right moment. If you've got no shots, don't use your adrenaline. It's simple. If you've got no shots or if you've just shot and you're on a 15 or so second reload... Don't use your adrenaline. Just wait until the time is right. And that's not just for adrenaline. That is for your repair kits as well. And trust me, there is nothing worse. There is nothing more frustrating than getting perma-tracked 
buy a medium tank when you're in a TD or a heavy, especially if you're in a TD with no turret. If you use both repair kits and you get absolutely permatrack, it is the most frustrating thing. It's even more frustrating than a 40% AFK player on your team. Trust me, it's happened to me a lot. Next up is, again, like I said on the do's, take out the, the lower hit point tanks. Don't just go for damage. It's, a lot of the pros do it uh, because they are just stat-minded and they want high average damage in a certain tank or overall. So it's more not so more in, in medium tanks because the reloads are quite uh, low anyway. But if you was in a Death Star, for instance, and you come in front of a tank with 100 hit points and you also come in a tank in front of a tank with 1,000 hit points, nine times out of 10, they're gonna go for that 1,000 hit point uh, tank just for the damage, even though he might not clear that tank and it's then still gonna leave two tanks left alive. <coughs> so if you can, just don't go for the lower hit. Unless you've got no other shots, then of course, go for that target. But if you've got shots and you can take the tanks out, take out the tanks. Um, and pretty much the last thing on my list at the moment is don't hit point trade. And again, it's something we all do, especially in medium tanks where I'm in a T62 or an Object 140 that has crazy DPM and I come across another medium that hasn't got as quite DPM as me, I'm thinking, well, I can take him out because I have more hit points. So yes, you might take him out, but if you look now, you've just lost nearly all your hit points in that section of, of the game. So just save your hit points if you can save your hit points and just a few more that i thought of on on the way of actually making this video is show your strongest part if there's a heavy in front of you face it face it if there's a medium then behind you just start angling and you never know you can get bounced if there's a heavy in front don't come out sideways um <laughs> never come out sideways always face the tanks if you can obviously medium tanks might get behind you if they do, start wiggling. Don't give them easy shots. Wiggle. And it's the same if you're hold down. Wiggle your turret backwards forward. Move your tank backwards and forward. Don't give them easy shots. But that is it, guys. I hope this does help all you newer players in the game, all you older players. You might already do this already, but I hope it does help you in any way. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Meaty, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.